and it, 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 it works sort of like this, Kanjoy. Um, I mentioned this to Karen Ann Luke McDonald, right? 13th Arcturian White Bear Clan Mother. Um, you've probably heard of the old saying that calls last man standing. Last Manu. Man you. Like in you as in universe, right? Ma N. M. M. Like in matter state. M state, right? Matter. Antimatter. Prephase matter. M. And then you have A. A is one. M is one. And U. N equals universe. I am equal unto all units of energy that are conscious and self-aware of itself that we are gifting the point of origin. The point of origin is the center point of a sphere that is gifting <laughs> eternal love forever and always, which is why I mentioned when I was a child growing up and I began to have, uh, if you will, uh, personal relationships, say, with a female when I was in fifth grade, sixth grade, actually, it began before that because uh, the first girl that I remember where I was on fire, she was on fire, so we were on fire together to create a universe together. That's the electromagnetic spectrum being one with all creation. It is in perfect balance, which is a still point. The still point of your star. The center point of that star. The center point of your heart's vortex. The center point of a planetary shield. The shield that protects the map the geometric, the geographical, universe, information codes, math codes, physics codes that represent the map, the original map of the universal and galactic template of DNA, which are lines, lines of communication, lines as in geometric lines, right? The geometric lines of DNA communication the language of eternal light communication from the center point of an eternal sun. Sun, S-U-N, equals zero, right? No errors, zero errors. No errors in the math. The math and the physics works perfect. That perfect is perfect balance between the Fusion and the fission to come together to be one, to be one with whole all creation. We're gifting love to without a charge. We're not metering your energy to charge you. Remember, pay the man. Right? So you can imagine how this was for me. At four years of age, when I had this uh, radio set up and running, right? And uh, navigating, because that's what I call it navigation, right? You're nav navigating a gyrodome, your compass, right? The center point of that magnetic compass. So you're not experiencing any what? Broken arrows. Earth, wind, water, fire the spirit and all energy. So when you're experiencing being an eternal spirit, that eternal spirit is on fire to give energy away at a very high rate of speed. Now you get into torque speed differential and consciousness between compression and expansion of electric light. Right. I can't give it away fast enough. Right? And that's what I experienced on the Big Island in 2019 after I lit myself on fire in 
2016. And there's no coincidence with the number, which was 15. December 15th. And so the numbers work because the math codes work, which is what we call a reset. In this case, it's like a hard reset. You know, on a hard drive, then you get into defrag the drive, <laughs> pulling all the fragments in to become one. One badass drive motor. A drive motor, right? Just like the motor in your vehicle, right? I used to use a lot of metaphors of how we cross index and translate the letters and the numbers by virtue of our experiences that are held in memory, which is our call record, right? Of what we're experiencing that is represented by what? The images, the geometric images, the GUI, the graphical user interface, right? Our TV projection screen, our holographic projection screen. So when I'm in love with my mirror, it means I'm giving love. The love that it is, is the love that I am. And what makes this so, um, it's, it, it's an eternal blessing. But I realize by virtue of experience, which is informing me of what I'm experiencing, uh, the differences that are among us by what they're experiencing versus what I'm experiencing in any one given moment of now time. So when I had mentioned to Karen that I said, if I had to be the last man who standing at the center point of the magnetosphere of this noble planet, then I will be the last Manu standing at a place, which is a vector, if you will, a time space vector. So I told her I've never left. I am still at that same spot. Okay. Which means I've never left home. So I have a picture in my mind being a small little boy and experiencing what I was experiencing then by experiencing a falling system. Falling, falling. Like if you've ever seen the old Bullwinkle. Um, the stuff that the cartoon stuff that came out in the 1950s. No coincidence why I was watching that stuff, even though I was very familiar with the geographical information programming coming through their radio stations and TV stations that I'm now experiencing in my mirror and then choosing what to record and what not to record because of the speed, which is represented by the stealth code inside, outside when you understand what it means to log in and log out. When you realize what is the mass function of a log? What is the mass function of a log scale? Water distribution tables, the distribution of sound through water, the distribution of love through water. Now we're back to fire and ice, right? PSI, pressure sensitive instruments, pounds per square inch. You can plug that into 1080p. 1080. 8. Okay. The number 8 on the horizontal. The eyeballs, the holographic processors, iridology, color codes, right? Lines of colors of communication, right? Stars, the colors of the stars, right? So I did this a little bit ago. See that? A pink sun. I was going to draw a green one and then a blue one, right? Then a silvery one, right? Silver light, silver and gold light. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's a pressure holographic sound instrument, PSI, per four square. PSI per four square bar crystal spiral cathode rays to be loved. Being what love is. 
So the uh, the relationship between water and heat, right? H2O. Cools colors of creation spheres. That's a speed ratio harmonic. One molecule of what cools 300 units of what? Thermal gradients. And now you can sort of translate that through isobars, like an isometric. Remember isometrics? That's when we get into what are the other words that I remember when I was growing up. Oh, yeah, anaerobic and aerobic. Right? How that works. The flow of spiritual information codes. The flow of energy, which is the dance that the spirit does. See, when I was growing up, because I loved to play drums and percussion instruments, all sound instruments, and sort of the way that you know that, um, that you're experiencing real, beautiful, healing music is depending on the mood or what you're experiencing at any one given moment. And now you're listening to music in which it lifts your spirit because you're experiencing the movement and you, in spiritual energy, the flow and the form in which you're experiencing those frequencies, which are the waves that we're now experiencing in us, the musical waves that others are generating that we're experiencing in us. And so you know that it is real light music because it's healing you and you're acknowledging how beautiful it is to experience the music that is healing us. That's real music. Real music that is in harmony with the waves that represent our music and our spheres. Right? And um, so um, I, I, I had fun with uh, a couple of math letters and fire codes here that goes uh, 105 degrees equal 15D of uh, what, hydrogen. Now we're back to H2O, H2 plus 1 uh, equals 3, 3 spheres logos, 3 slash 4. Now we're back to 3, right? How fire codes work between fire and ice, fire and water, liquid, living light consciousness, experiencing an eternal spirit of fire, right? So how this sort of translate this and all sort of uh, of um, in this because the the information is so vast, right? Um, that I remember going through this sort of exercise within my own energy field by virtue of what we're experiencing as we're experiencing what we're experiencing when we're experiencing it and energy. When I was a little boy growing up, which had to do with you know, they, I was being told, directed, you know, the consciousness is being directed, my energy is being directed uh, to go to where I'm being directed to experience a school. So in this case, it would have been a nursery school and then, say, a military academy, right? So the way that I sort of translated, if you will, the differences when it comes to learning, spiritual learning, ancient spiritual knowledge, right, I thought to myself, since time is energy and energy is numbers, particularly the way that they use fire codes and fire letters and fire numbers with water, uh, how that relates to electrons in an energy harvesting system of harvesting electrons, right? In which break arrows, right? Produces music. Now you have the differential, torque speed differential between acid and alkaline. The use of an electron creates an acid, right? So I, I remember to myself, how many of these teachers that I'm being exposed to, right? Now we're in decay, and you know what decay is in electromagnetic radiation, right? Is the rate at which you're losing crystal spiral shield protection, right? And your ability to maintain a planetary shield, which is centered upon a balance in a planetary consciousness field, which is the planetary software field. Remember I call her software development? How many versions of Blade Runners are out there? Right? Give them model numbers, just like they provide a part number to every part, and they provide designated part numbers, or what I call bin numbers, 
B in, B the number. You know, biometric account numbers. Now we're into bank account numbers. Now we're into consciousness numbers. Now we're into consciousness creation spheres numbers. Now we're into the math, into the codes and the physics, which is a physical plane, right? Between pre-matter phase and matter phase of consciousness experiencing itself in matter form at a particular density altitude of consciousness with the ethers, right? So I would say, listen, how much of my time, which is related to energy, because I realize I'm in an energy harvesting system, how many teachers do I have to go through? Because this is an awful lot of time consuming of energy batteries, right? So I go to this school, then I go to that school, then I'm spending time in this classroom. And they're all, if you've ever noticed, they're in a a particular arrangement, like a square, like a cube, right? So they have so many chairs up front, right, in one row, and they're they're all rows, right, that are going, if you will, up and down, or if you will, on that dimensional plane, right? So they're all set up that way. So you have somebody in the front, right, with a teacher's desk and a blackboard that is now a microphone to everybody, all the little children that are sitting in all those chairs, right? Uh, in which the information is coming out of that microphone. Actually, everything that is on the visible light spectrum that you're experiencing with your projection screen is coming back to you, which is your mirror. You're thus recording into your RAM. So you realize that they're, we're recording what it is that's in their memory. We're putting in ours because they're communicating what's out in their memory into our memory. Right? So I felt like, listen, uh, listen, teach. Can we cut to the chase here? How many classrooms that I do I got to go through in order to find an escape hatch, you know, out of this buffoonery system that obviously doesn't serve us because there's something feeding out our energy. Something's wrong with that, isn't there? That means that something's not very powerful because it's needing to feed on us. That means it's running out of energy. That means it's not experiencing the point of origin. Right? The center point of an internal star, a cosmic level star, which is cosmic level consciousness, which is a cosmic level spirit. That's called a cosmic, right? A microphone. Do, 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 do. Right? That's what it is. So it's like, how many generations, how many lifetimes does it take for a unit of consciousness to experience eternal love? Plug that in. Okay, so you realize, as I did, love is a teacher. Love is music. So where's we need? I need to be in a music class, right? So I began realizing over time they were eliminating certain learning <laughs> curriculum, cur like curs, a cursor. You know what a cursor is on a keyboard on a screen, on a CRT screen, cathode ray tube screen, crystal radios. I put together a crystal radio set, shortwave radio, when I was about nine years old. So my dad knew what he was doing, right? (laughs) Guess who was giving... Guess who was giving my father the instructions on what it is to present to me so that I could do that? And it's the same way with that house that went, went down up in the Mandeville Canyon when I, when I <laughs> flew myself. Uh, when, when we flew from New Jersey after I was born in 1951 on 11-10, on 11-10-51, and then moved out to Brentwood and moved in the house off Mandeville Canyon Road. And, uh, and it's sort of funny when I sort of put this together with my sister because, uh, you know, the film industry... You know, the moguls, Hollywood, and all the rest of that is, um, you know, the color codes, the symbols, flyer colors, what are your colors, right? Frequency, frequency codes, math codes, and how all that sort of fits. Uh, But we lived in a house that was at the end of a cul-de-sac. And so my mother decided, this is a fire trap. Well, did you not know that before you decided to live in that house? Right. How did you come to to realize that out of love, compassion and care for others, which is the family, which is one of the reasons I love my mother so much because she was an angel. 
okay? She knew a lot about how to protect you because she could map read energy in people just like we can, right? So she was map reading the terrain by virtue of the map reading that I do uh, and was sharing that map read with her, which is like future proof past back to the future. So she was experiencing the image by virtue of the information that represents the codes, which are the fire codes, right? Fire letter codes, fire water letter codes. She was experiencing the risk. Now we're in the quantum probability function, right? Of numbers, AI number games, war gamers, right? And so my mother was had decided by, you know, sort of, twisting the wrist of my father that I think we need to move out of here. Uh, this is a fire trap. And so we moved to a motel in Malibu and then went up to Northridge, San Fernando Valley. Um, so you sort of see how that works. That's called code exchange, transferring codes of mathematical information that's represented on a gooey mirror map of a TV station that she began to realize we don't want to experience that in the future. Okay, well then we're going to move. Experience a different time vector, right? So that we're not there, so we're not having to experience the trauma. That's right. That's right. We're in the healing business, not in the trauma business. Remember what Asha Dayan talked about? Transmutation machines, right? We're not in the business of experiencing more trauma, right? Or being, uh, if you will, a node in the network, which represents the underlying causality, of being an asset used on behalf of what they are in order to be generating more trauma that's experienced by more nodes on the network, which is the lines of communication between computer terminals, which is DNA consciousness. So the ideal here is healing, 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 healing through all the lines of communication, which represent the angles and spirals of light, right? They're communicating with each other, right? And uh, so we moved. So you can sort of see how we come full circle on this, which is full circle of light. So when you get into the teaching community, it's like, how many generations does it take in order to experience being what love is? Now you're experiencing being a real star, the center point of a star, right? Center point of a cell in your body, right? So that every unit of energy that represents every particle of energy, if you will, is experiencing what we are, which is what love is. It goes on forever, gifting electrons at the highest rate of accelerated speed. So that's distribution, and that's a distribution table, right? Yeah. And so when you think of balance, when we're talking about balance between the poles, right? And, and so that's why I mentioned in a previous video about the difference between an inverter and a torque converter, or if you will, the ability of a unit of consciousness uh, to not experience the resistance to give all of its energy away. Right? So you realize that it doesn't want, if you will, want's probably a, not a good word, but it's in fear. Okay? Love is the absence of fear. Okay. Love is the absence of fear. That means that eternal, unconditional love is not experiencing fear. Eternal love can never, ever experience fear. It can never experience anything less than what it is in energy consciousness, which is accelerating the distribution of electromagnetic energy at the highest rate of speed, because we are experiencing that not enough units of energy are experiencing what we are, which is eternity. So that would be called the rate of speed, which would be the rate of speed in which healing is taking place across the entire electromagnetic, electromagnetic spectrum of sound and light throughout the entire universal and galactic template. So that would be, if you will, healing every unit of energy. So that every unit of energy that I'm experiencing in my mirror is experiencing what I am. Therefore, it is what I am. Which means everything that is in creation, the entire universal galactic template is everything that I am, that it is. Because there isn't any separation between what it is and what I am. 
Okay, so so it would be no different than realizing that when I look at a lizard, uh, you know, a, a silverback ape, right, a giraffe, a tree, everything it is is I am. I'm just as much the tree as I am what I am in this. So the same thing it is is what I am because we're all made of the same stuff. You know, star seeds, plant a seed, watch it grow. Wow, look how fast it's growing. Look how healthy it is. So you want the entire universal galactic temple to be what? Thriving. Because we're all experiencing what love is. We're all experiencing the point of origin. So we bring the point of origin in here. So now more beings are experiencing what we are. Right? So this is where I was sort of in, in the healing business when I translate this through learning and teaching. Just like I mentioned the girl that was learning by the relationship that, that we had. She was experiencing something that she hadn't experienced in a long, long, long time, which was to experience unconditional love, which simply means she's experiencing being loved through my heart and soul that she was experiencing through her heart and soul. Now we become one. Because now we realize that those waves are in harmony with each other because she's experiencing the love that she is, which is the love that I am, because we're sharing those waves in harmony, which is an equilibrium state. I am what love is. You are what love is. We're both experiencing what love is. So imagine that everything is experiencing what love is, from which it all began. That means we're all in love with our universe, which means we're all in love with our mirror. Right? Now, for me, that's obviously basic math and physics. But you realize when you're in here, that's not true for so many folks that aren't experiencing what that is. Don't you think that they're entitled to experience being loved? Being a beloved? Be loved? Yeah, of course. And so this is why the relationships that I had, particularly with, with females, were having not really trouble, but trying to perceive in their own mind, which is vibration and frequency, that everything she is, I am. Which means there isn't any difference. There isn't any separation with you are and what I am. The same love that I am, you're experiencing in you. The same love that's in you is what I'm experiencing in me. Because our hearts are connected. Our stars are connected. Our souls are connected. Our spiritual energy is connected with each other. Now we're in harmony with each other. That means we're tuned in. Wow, well, we're tuned in. Now we're tuned in to the map. The celestial grid mechanic maps. Wow, now we're experiencing higher frequency with each other. Now imagine that you have two androgynous beings that are connected to each other. That way they're in perfect balance. What a powerhouse. So that means that that other being could be anywhere in the grid network and be able to know exactly what they're experiencing. They're experiencing what love is, just like I'm experiencing what love is. That means it's universal. That's universal love. That's eternal universal love. That's eternal universal and galactic love. That's a guardian. Love is a guardian. Remember? <laughs> like a guardrail. You know, railroad tracks, two, by waves, tri waves. I know. So it's many times it's like, hey, listen, cut to the chase, will you? Let's get right down to what I used to say is a rubber hits the pavement. There's got to be a point of origin, right? Okay, so where is that point of origin? It's the center point of a circle, right? A sphere. So that everything within that sphere is experiencing what love is. Inside, outside. Log in, log out. So wherever we go, remember I mentioned this, wherever we go, wherever you find love in living spirit, you'll find us. That's the truth of it. That's the genius of that frequency. I know. It's, uh, it's, you know, I, I cry this morning. I cry every day because of what I become aware of that others are experiencing because they're not experiencing what love is. And instead, I'm experiencing what they're experiencing, which is what I am, which is experiencing stress and anxiety and what that does to their endocrine system, their central nervous system, right? Their nerve centers. That was their goal, was to burn out. It's called burning out your central nervous system. You know, filaments. You know, nerve fibers. 
burn out your central nervous system, burn out your wit, put that fire out, become a cold heart, right? So you're not experiencing being one, being fused and fissioned as one, which means the nuclear reaction states between minus slash to plus become one. So there's the polarity game ends. There is no game. That's why when I was a child growing up, I realized, man, I, we ha I had different terms, you know, how we label things. You know, it's like a bin number, put it into a category of experience. It's just really just an experience held in memory. But I had certain words that I used that sort of represented what the experience is, what the experience is like to experience. So I called them head gamers. You know, you know what a Harvey Wallbanger is, right? So I would call them head gamers, gaming with the mind's energy, gaming for your energy, wanting to hold it captive. So you realize that, hey, love is what frees us, born free, being a free spirit. That's what free will is. So when you're a free spirit, then that means that you've learned how to be free, which means you're experiencing what love is that frees you, right? Frees you, free of charge. Right? So that's why the very idea that they're going to charge us energy means they're, what do you need in our energy for, right? From our battery to keep itself running. So it runs on our energy. So you realize that by virtue of knowing what we are, right? So that's why I cry so much for them because of the manner in which they use their math and their codes to hold energy captive in order to suck it down a drain. Hey, hey, where are you going down there? I got to pull you up out of there. Come on, I'll pull you up out of there. You know, pull that spiral up. We're going in a different direction with that spiral. Yeah, experience what love is, man. We got the math codes and the key codes and the access codes so the gates fit. So the gates aren't broken. Open heart, open minds, open energy. Being free to create, co-create. And so um, there's been some, I've experienced a couple of beautiful changes in the last few days. Um, it's, uh, it's like hearing ringing. All the phones are going off. Phones, pH, right? And uh, so in, in closing on this, I simply want to share with you, Conjoy, that... Um, if you wanted to cut to the chase, but I don't tell people what to do. But if, if, I, if I was thinking in terms of time, energy, and mother, excuse me, time, energy, and money, or simply time and energy, which means time that is well spent. So if you're in learning mode and you want to cut to the chase of, of, of experiencing downloads of information, right? the mapping field of template information based on the math and physics codes in which it's being presented by other units of consciousness that are presenting the mapping information of the grid network, then I would suggest investing however much time you choose and have to do it is the guardian materials, which are the, I realize there's quite a number of, of videos, right? Um, that the Emerald Covenant has put up uh, on that channel, right? And then allow your own intuitive soul sense of being because uh, your soul knows when you have a communication relationship with eternity uh, and, and spirits that are your team, team members, security team members that you're connected to will provide you the information if you're not already aware of it, um, the level that you're operating at in which the information that you're thus going to experience isn't redundant, which means you don't have to relearn something that you've already learned through experience, right? Because that's really what it is. You're learning as you go from experience to experience after experience. So you're experiencing the time vector experiences by virtue of the energy that is represented by what you are, which is consciousness, that is experiencing yourself being what energy is, and then learning as you go through others. So the fastest way that I know in time and energy to sort of put all the building blocks of elementary math and physics together is the guardian materials. 
Okay, it is. So they have a number of different groupings, you know, from the one that's called the Dance of Joy, the Dance of Freedom, um, uh, Creation Physics or Spiritual Creation uh, Mechanics, uh, the ones that are on Biospiritual Healing. I think it's level one, level two, right? And you can sort of peruse through there and just open your heart, right? Sort of slow down the cognitive motor and experience through your heart and soul, which ones should I watch? And then allow that flow of energy communication through your heart and your soul to sort of lead you, which means you're sort of leading yourself. You're allowing your own energy, which is your own soul and spirit that knows there is a level of intelligence that you have and a level of creative imagination that you have to know what you would like to learn to sort of put the blocks together, put the puzzle together at a very high rate of speed. And then it just sort of snaps in face and you go, yeah, 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 I know, I get it. I can put that together. That makes so, so much sense because what you're able to do is sort of kick out a memory, which is called filtering. You're filtering content, which means you're filtering map-coded information, celestial grid mechanic information. That's a map read. So you're actually map reading the information that they're providing to you, okay, that is in congruence, like in gruel points, of your own template. And then those coals will activate, and you'll begin to realize, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? But we all know it, it began with eternal, unconditional love. The center point of the cross, right? Yep. The ignition point of a coil. Right? Spiral spirits. <laughs> on fire. To accelerate, giving away an enormous, as fast as we can. We're getting all the voltage, baby. We're getting all the love. All the sound and light is on fire to give away energy forever. An eternal sun giving away love forever. Right? And when you're experiencing that through your heart, that's a teacher. Mothers know that. You want that child to grow healthy, happy, and joyful? It begins with love. And they will never forget what it's like to experiencing being loved. Beloved, the beloveds, have a great day. We love you all.